Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and let me welcome you to our first ever official Holland Balls campsite. Uh, that's right, you've seen this trailer before, but this is the first time that we've taken it out to actually use it together and see how it's going to work. And this weekend, we're not off-road, we're at an actual campground where we're set up, uh, you know, easy to set up, but we are going to be herping this weekend and looking for rattlesnakes out in western Oklahoma. So you will be seeing some of that hopefully, and this will be our base of operations, so we wanted to share it with you and kind of show you our setup. So first let me welcome you to everybody's favorite spot, that would be the kitchen. This is where all the magic happens, I'm going to make some really badass meals. Let's be honest, I'll be lucky if I don't screw this up right here, because I'm not a chef, but we're not going to die. So we got basic food, basic things we need right here. We got a grill, we got a stove, everything you really need to survive. Of course, we got some recovery gear that we shouldn't need because this is gonna stay right here as the base. Uh, if you come on inside here, we added this room since last time you saw it. This is a Smitty Built XL Annex. And if you come on into the Annex, what you're gonna see is it gives us an area that I can stand up in that's covered so we're not in an actual campground. I'm not like, you know, stripping down naked to change clothes out in front of everybody with the highway and getting arrested or something. We can have a little privacy and that's really nice. You can see we've already been living in here. I got my shoes and boots lined up and things. Uh, and if you come up here, you will see that we are definitely already been sleeping up here. We spent last night when we got in about 1230. So we spent that first night here in the tent already. And as you can see that Kurt has already wimped out and added himself an air mattress. I'm still just using that, but uh, this foam pad, I will say, it's a little, you can see, kind of not very thick, so another pad underneath would be nice. I'll be honest, I probably won't go air mattress because I just don't like the way they feel always, but if I could get another, like, memory foam pad about yay thick to lay underneath here for me, that would be freaking amazing. So that gives us a nice, comfortable spot. It was really easy to sleep in here, skylighting, good airflow, and even though it's starting to warm up today, it's not too bad in here. However, we can air condition this tent as well and likely probably will before the night is over. The other thing is by having this annex what we can do is crawl up here drop our shoes down on the floor put them in the bag we can try to keep up here as nice as possible because it's never going to really get clean where this you can zip the floor off and just garden hose the floor out down the road so kind of a really neat setup and I'm really glad we added this extra room. It just makes our footprint a little bit bigger and it gives us some more availability if we need. So if you come on around here, you'll find our tow vehicle. And the Jeep did a great job of towing it. We're using a 2009. This is my daily driver. It's a uh, Wrangler Rubicon. So it's got the 3.8 liter engine, which is not the best engine Jeep's ever made. However, no problems whatsoever getting it here. I would feel it going up a hill, but honestly that Jeep doesn't like going up hills by itself. So that's not a big surprise. And the camper itself is all pretty light. So all in all, we are very happy with our setup. I really, really dig it. So let's go ahead and take you inside and we'll let Kurt show you the inside of the camper. How's it going? So basically we have this set up to where I can, you know, on the road we're always busy and I can sit here and edit uh, videos I have my phone set up on uh, a hotspot so we can actually get, you know, internet so I can upload videos, you know, check on stuff, check how videos are doing. Um, we have all of the outlets to where we can plug in. Um, this, this setup has a generator. So if we're out somewhere, we're, we don't like here we have it to where we can plug in and just plug in a power cord. If we're out, you know, in the middle of nowhere, we can plug in the generator, turn that on. It's a pretty quiet whisper generator. We can have a cord. We can run it a little ways away so it's not so noisy right here. And then as long as I have my cell phone that has a signal that I can run a hotspot and I can upload videos, we can do a lot of editing, different things. This has lighting so I can work in here at night. We can also, you know, turn the lighting down, up if we want. If it gets really hot, we can turn the AC on. Uh, this has a vent so we can actually vent ac up into the top roof if we want to um if it gets too hot up there these windows they'll kind of uh how's it push in like this so you can vent you know have some air fresh air coming in and out but having this sit up has made it really nice when we're on the road we can still you know have everything to where we can edit we can still put videos together and then we can still be out and doing a lot of um, herping and a lot of videos. So this has been a really, really nice addition 
to what we can do. And we're going to be able to do a lot more videoing, a lot more um, uh, videos. Uh, so let's head back up to Matt. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much the full campsite. One thing I want to show you, though, really quick before we go, is sometimes you got to have really nice neighbors because uh, we didn't have a long enough cord. And we learn things. Every time you go somewhere, you learn something. So we will be going and picking up a longer cord today. So what we ended up having to do was use this connector we had to kind of steal power from our neighbor. Shh, don't tell him. He's actually not very nice. We'd probably be really pissed if we found out we were stealing his power. So we're going to try to fix that before he comes back. And uh, actually, it's Eric who's running the camera. He doesn't give a shit. But we will want to get a bigger cord so we can obviously be prepared to run our own stuff. Uh, we could use a generator, but again, it, it, even though it's quiet, it makes a little noise and costs us gas. And well, this was free. So there is that. And that is the tour of our overlanding uh, herping trailer and campsite. So you can kind of see what we're able to do. And of course, we'll add stuff as it goes. And we'll find things that work better each time we go out and probably make some changes. All right, Eric, since you're playing the Kurtz role, do you have any questions? Nope. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.